Hey everyone, this is Brandon Yanofsky from mywpexpert.com, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress site using a free plugin called BackWPUp. So again, that plugin is called BackWPUp, and you can access it just like any other plugin when you're searching through it. It's again free. Just go ahead and search for it through your WordPress backend, install it, activate it, and once you do, you'll see it here in the left-hand side and you'll have a bunch of options. What you wanna do is you wanna click on add new, and this will allow us to create a new backup job. So I'm gonna go ahead and title mine main WordPress backup. You can title it whatever you wanna title it. You can then also choose what database tables to backup. I recommend leaving them all checked unless you have a specific reason not to backup a certain one. But again, by default, have them all selected. You can then also select certain files to exclude from your backup. So if you check one of these off, they won't be included in the backup. You most likely will want to do this with your themes. So for instance, you're probably only going to use one theme on your site, uh, but you might have other themes installed and you don't want to necessarily back those up. So you can check those off to not include them in the backup. You can also choose folders to include in your backup and folders and files to exclude. You would just enter them here. Uh, by default, all the WordPress folders will be backed up. So unless you have a specific reason, you don't need to worry about including or excluding these uh, write-in um, folders and files. You then want to activate scheduling, and that will allow us to do automatic WordPress backups. And what we want to do here is we want to select when we want to back up our site. So by default, it'll do a daily backup, which is what I recommend. And you want to choose at a time when you get least amount of traffic. That's what I would recommend you do. Um, for me, I usually do at 3 a.m. That's when I get the least amount of traffic. You then can choose a file prefix for what your backups will be called. I just leave it default. You can then choose if you want to do a compression by zip or a compression by tar or one of these other options. I usually recommend doing zip unless while you're doing the backup it fails. Sometimes on GoDaddy, zip isn't enabled on your hosting account, so you might have to do tar instead. You then want to choose where you want to back up your site to. You could back it up to a folder on your server, but I really don't recommend that because if your server crashes for whatever reason, all your backups will be gone. It'll also take up space on your server, which might slow down your site. You could also do a backup to email. Again, don't really recommend that because emails uh, accounts usually don't let you have very large files, so it won't send you the full backup. The option I recommend you use is to backup to Amazon S3. And what that is, is it's cloud storage provided by Amazon for really, really cheap. I'm talking about less than a dollar a month. So to get that, you just need to go to aws.amazon.com, go ahead and sign up for an account, and once you do, you want to go to my account slash console. And when you're in here, go up to the upper right hand corner, click on your name and click security credentials. Scroll down and you'll see your access keys right here. You want to select your access key ID and then click show to see your secret access key. And we're going to go ahead and copy both of those and paste them into the appropriate spots in the back WP up options. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I've copied over my access key ID and my secret access key, and now I can get access to all my buckets. If you don't have a bucket, then you can create one. And basically a bucket is just a folder on S3. So let's create a bucket right here. So we'll call it backup 012344. You want to make something crazy and unique so that, um, cause it'll, it'll look across all of Amazon S3 to make sure it's a unique bucket. You can also choose what folder in the bucket to back up to. So um, we could create our own folder. So I'm going to create mine, call it backup WP test. And then you can choose the max number of backups you want to include in your bucket. So because I'm doing daily, I'm going to select 30 and that'll give me 30 days worth of backups before it starts deleting them. And once you filled all this out, we want to go up to save changes. And then we can go ahead and start the job to make sure everything works correctly. So go over to jobs. 
and then scroll over and you can click run now. And then this will go through and start creating your job. Now, what I mentioned before where it's, if it can't create a zip, you want to go back and change the zip to a tar. You'll see it's running that right now. And if this failed, we know that, that it can't do a zip compression. So you'd want to do a tar compression instead. So I'll let this run for a moment. And then once it's done, I'll come back and show you that it's successful. So now it started the, the upload to Amazon S3. So you can see that line right here. So that means it's created the backup file successfully, but now it just needs to load it up to Amazon S3. And again, this, this can take a little while, so we'll come back in just a moment. So you can see both bars are at 100%, so our backup has now been transferred and is now complete. If we want to, we can also go and take a look at our backups from within BackWP Up by going to Backups right here. And you can see here's our backup file. We can go ahead and download it if we want. And then just to double check, we'll go to Amazon S3 and just make sure our backup is here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and find the bucket I created, which is right here. And then here's the folder I created. And then here's my backup file. So again, I can download this if I wanted to and use it if I need to restore my site. And that's how you set up and run back WP up. And so now you'll have backup for your WordPress site. Also, be sure to visit mywpexpert.com and get my free ebook, Seven Steps to a Faster Website, where I'll show you seven ways to make your WordPress site much faster so you can get higher in Google's search rankings and also get more traffic from that. So be sure to look out for more of my tutorials, and I will talk to you guys later. Yeah.